Yeah. <laughs> Seems that there's some attributes of saints. Yeah. <laughs> the dove appears as a source of inspiration to certain saints. Yeah. <laughs> it is an attribute of an attribute of all those inspired by the Holy Spirit, <laughs> notably the evangelists and the doctors of the church. <laughs> In Michael Pasher's The Four Latin Fathers. Oh, Latin. <laughs> A dove appears over each of the doctors, Jerome, Augustine, Ambrose, and Gregory. <laughs> Gregory bears his name on the right shoulder, and, said, <laughs> and it, it is said in his life by Paul the Deacon, chapter 28, that the dove of the Holy Spirit was seen repeatedly inspiring the author of the pastoral care and the great morals. <laughs> now, thus the dove appears in Carpaccio's Meditation on the Passion. <laughs> The Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, Ouch. perched on the sarcophagus throne on which Christ sits, med med meditated upon by St. Jerome and Job, the great morals of St. Gregor was based on the book of Job. St. Basil is shown and dictating under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> St. Gregory and the Great and the Holy Spirit. Oh, boy, it seems that this Holy Spirit's been doing quite a bit in the the whole saint work, as they call it. <laughs> Where's the Holy Spirit in your family? <laughs> You're, oh, 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 come to find out it's non-existent, is it? <laughs> so you go to church and then you, exactly what you've been doing. <laughs> now, let's say as an American citizen, <laughs> you said I was crazy. <laughs> I was crazy for, let's see here, uh -huh, not getting uh, actual mailings from Heidi Lee Budnick. Right. Not getting notice of temporary court orders. Yes, that you reissued the protection order while I was on trial for violating it. Well, it seems very unholy. As in, you decided you're going to protect the family that wants to go to hell. Ouch. I don't know. Is there really a purgatory? Ouch. You know, this whole thought of just spending X number of thousands of years thinking about what you did wrong while you were alive. How much time is there outside of the actual human time of humanity? <laughs> Somebody's trying to keep time. Oh. Well, look at it. You issued a protection order in 2011. Yes. She said I was crazy. Is that right? I'm going to want my sons today. Do you understand? Yes. And then I'm going to want to sue every oath of office. <laughs> and I find out that the mafia, the mob, the family that we don't talk about, yes, has actually been influencing the politics of the United States of America. <laughs> I will find you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I found out about the judicial system of the United States <laughs> from personal experience that a lot of judges are corrupt. <laughs> Seems that if you can pay enough, you can put an honest man, yes, an innocent man, yeah, that does like the idea of the holiness of the saints, yes, as in I would like to live in the presence of the Holy Spirit, <laughs> let's say, right, because I thought about this, yes. I spent the rest of my life in the presence of God because I did not grieve the Holy Spirit. Does that mean I'm sinless? Ooh, ooh. This is a big theological question, is it really? What makes the Holy Spirit upset so that they would... Oh, he, yes. Is it an it? The Spirit of God? It's an energy. It's an energy. Do we need to define the actual person of the Holy Spirit? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say I spent my life in the presence of the Holy Spirit. And uh, it's a real gift, okay? Something that happens after decades of, of spending time thinking about, well, exactly how does that work? Let's say that the Holy Spirit said, Paul, you probably shouldn't do that. Not good for you.
might make me upset. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you're right. I'm wrong. Okay, I don't have to do that. Yes. Now, the nice part is, if I know, yes, he does, <laughs> the holy year, ooh, the holy week, ouch, <laughs> the holy day, oh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Sheriff, <laughs> when I inform you of my civil rights being violated, and you said, well, we're not going to enforce the laws. When I told you that my sons were kidnapped, abducted, and are being held hostage, you said you were not going to enforce the laws. I said, yeah, you are. You're going to enforce every requirement of every law of the United States of America. And if you don't, you're going to go to prison. I'm going to sue you for every asset that you ever own. Now, you said I couldn't do that. I was a jailhouse lawyer. Now, I think, yes, being just a lit different in my Christian education that I spent years and years studying all the variations of it. Ooh. And I don't need a mental health evaluation to understand the importance of wanting to live in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Mm. As in, I would like it very much if the Holy Spirit was dwelling on top of me. Yes. Now let's say, what if I had the Holy Spirit in me? <laughs> What would that look like? <laughs>